What's going on, pop lovers and collectors? Lunch Monster, back with another unboxing. And this is a special video because I was just at the Montreal Comic Con uh, last Saturday. So, yeah, I did a pop walkthrough. I went to all the Funko booths and checked out what they've got. Then I went back afterwards and picked up some stuff after I went to all the booths because pricing was nuts. Some places were really good. They had great deals. Um, but other places were like jacked up, right? Like crazy, like new stuff. New stuff that just came out at 25, 30 bucks each. You know, it's... But they got to make their money. So, had a great time. So I did a, a walkthrough of the exhibition floor. And this is what I saw. right by them all right let's go check out the showroom the one main guy that we came to see Kevin Nash did not show up This is where they all congregate. Got R2D2 there. You want to walk through? You want to walk through and just check out the costumes? Or do you just want to look for pops? Okay, so let's just walk around a little bit. Okay, well, if we're going into the showroom, it's that way. So we'll go in and we'll go left. You okay? Yeah. What? Did Jab ever get a hold of you? <laughs> they have got everything you could possibly do. I want to see if I can pick up a DMX pop. Crazy, crazy people. I'm gonna go see Jimmy. 
Jimmy and Twan. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are comic book uh, artists. What? Is it related to Bobby yeah, last year? Baby, how are you? Good yourself. <laughs> Found some pops. The jeans are obvious. A Rocky Maya beer. I have them all. There's more. There's more. Yeah, there. Oh yeah. How much are they? They're twenty four ninety nine. There's more. Twenty four ninety nine. And then there's more right there. You don't happen to have a chase of the Axel Rose, eh? Sorry? Do you have Axel Rose, the oh, chase? Oh, that's not mine. That's oh, okay, the, uh, sorry. I just saw it here. I know. <laughs> Rose, which George has for me. Some fallout. have the uh, steward and roll uh, letter Kenny Pops, do you? It's a two-pack like the uh, Riley and Jonesy? Um, I, no, I don't think so. Okay. See anything you like? Okay, let's find some more. Oh, there's even more here. Ooh. 
Here's the WWE. They got some good stuff here. You might have to come back once I... Oh, they have a lot of stuff. Gary Payton. Oh, I have him. What am I talking about? Oh, shit. They got a Miami uh, Hurricanes. Sorry? To the next one? Yeah, well, I'm looking for that. Good yourself. Good, thank you. Please, you can get some. Put it there. Yeah, when he was when he was on. 
not a lot of music. Up until he said I'm signing with the Clippers. Feel my fingers. No, no, no. Put your... Crazy, eh? Look for Funko Pops. Yeah, there it is. Like for me to get out of here right now, it's not the easiest thing to do. There's some Dragon Ball down there. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Do you have any? Sorry? Oh, we're missing these two. How oh, much are they? Cool. I don't know. Nice. Okay, then. Woo! Oh, 
เต้นต้อนเป็นเชิงOn n'a pas fait le tour, mais là, c'est juste un petit peu. Ah,
Here we go. Some of the bigger stations. Some nice transformers. No laser beak though. What store is this? Sorry? What store is uh, this? Labyrinth. Oh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yeah. Okay. You looking for something or? Something I'm not going to find. Oh, yeah? yeah. But uh, one of my friends has the CMD store. I thought this uh. was it.
told you again. Now we can go. He's a menace. Mais je sais pas si c'est un terrain dans une deuxième Ça va
Baby Dodo, you want to see. I love you. that way. Je sais pas pourquoi il va laisser chanter. C'est déjà une édition spéciale. Prices. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It would be interesting if they had some Super 7. Alright, let's see if they use it in the first one. in the CMD store. Yes, it is. I thought this was the CMD store. I guess not, eh?
to any of my regular stores. There he is. Jimmy. How are you, Jimmy? Good, man. You, you didn't recognize me at first? I didn't recognize you, man. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just yeah. doing a Funko Pop tour. Good for you, man. Yeah? We don't have a lot of fun. We don't bring a lot of fun. <laughs> Too many guys doing phone calls. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing You're good. in for the day or the no, 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 no. My, uh, you feel my my fingertips? Oh, the cold. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's my heart. I can't. Big crowds and stuff like that. That's why I'm always at your store early in the morning. Cause uh, when it's too, uh, I have a I have a bad heart. I have uh, it gets one beep and then uh, one beep and then two small ones. So it goes boom, 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 boom. So it uh, messes me to, up. You have to be careful then with uh, the crowds. Yeah, well, last, last year at uh, Comic-Con, I was put in the hospital for two days after it. So yeah, I'm just hanging out. My sons are here. And, uh, okay, good. Man. Just take it easy. Stay yeah. on the sides because it's very stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's because, crazy. Uh, I, I, I just find it now. I was outside. I, I, I can't take the big crowds, but I find it too stressful. You know what I'm saying? Well, most stuff is overpriced. Hey? Most of the pops else in some of the other places are Everything overpriced. Is so fucking expensive yeah. here. I went to get a t-shirt. They got to me 33 plus time. They got my worst print 40 for a t-shirt. Yeah, it's, 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 every, every, look, every charge, everybody overcharges. I pick up and keep their charge. Like, I'm sorry. How was that? A lot to process there. And a lot I forgot about going back and forth. Holy cow. But I did score some beauties. Some beauties. And one that I am ecstatic about. Um, I'll start with this. I know. I know. But I collect music. And Lance Bass, unbelievably, I don't know if you can see, right there is my NSYNC collection. Where? Right there. Next to Eddie Van Halen. Those are the instincts over there. Uh, Justin and Chris and Joey and uh, Justin, Chris, Joey. And who's the other one? I forget his name. J oh, JC, JC. So this is the last one I was looking for my collection and I managed to find it. Let's crack him open and see oh God, something dropped. And see what's up with Lance back. Here he is. The headset with the protector on it. Uh, just a simple pop. They're gonna look good all together. So I basically completed that set. I, well, I didn't basically, I did, I completed that set. So I'll be doing a video on all of them soon. Cause I haven't done a full NSYNC video. And at a place, I went to a place called uh, Gotham Collectibles and I met the owner they're from mississauga ontario really nice people i sorry i forget their names uh but uh i'd love to go to their store they had some not only some great stuff but they had um great prices i picked up these two hard to find here in canada 
pops from the NFL to go with my ever-growing NFL collection. We got Tua Tagovailoa. I think I said that right. And you got DeAndre Hopkins, but when he was on the Houston Texans, his first team. So let's crack this open. Let's start with Tua. Tua Tago Tagovailoa. Yeah, I just have trouble saying. It. He was a great pickup, although he's been injured and stuff, but things look good. If they do end up keeping him, there's always rumors every year about them moving him or something like that. The NFL doesn't really uh, give much to their QBs. You know, they'll draft the QB and then a month later, uh, a year later, he's gone. Josh Rosen is the perfect guy. Josh Rosen? Was it Josh Rosen or Jay Rosen? Anyway, one of them uh, was drafted by was drafted by Arizona and then traded the next year because they had the number one pick. Very bizarre. So Tua, let's check out the all pro wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. Used to be one of the top three, top five. He's old now, so it's, he's still producing. At it. And these are the old school stuff. Now, this one has a lot of great detail to it. You know, not only with the, the face paint and the, the headband and the gloves, but the details on his hair in the back are phenomenal. Although it kind of looks a little... Like little Wayne, the little Wayne hair. I wonder. I wonder if they use the same pop. I'm trying to look for him. No, it just looks the same in the back. So that's DeAndre. So that was a great find, and they had a lot of great NFL pops. Now, finally. Just gonna take this sticker off. I didn't notice it. I got this on a great deal. They had it priced at $39.99. And whoops. I don't know why I'm doing this now, but and as you can see, I got it for $25. And this is the Daredevil Black Light. I think it's a black light comic cover. Beautiful. Another one's coming out sometime in August. Just a, whoops, I'll take this off. Just a beautiful and phenomenal pop. And they've even got, I don't know if you can see, but they've got the swoosh, swoosh, F-W-O-O-S-H-H. -H. Look at that. back is beautiful it says daredevil number one so this must be uh let's see yeah it doesn't say the man without fear but that was my epic journey at montreal comic con i hope you enjoyed the video if you did there are some buttons down low Subscribe, like, there's a comment button too, and notifications, turn them on, help out the channel, we're growing daily, and I want to thank you, we're growing pretty quickly, we're, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's moving, we're moving, we've got something here, and it's all because of you, so I want to thank you once again, thank you for joining me on my trip to Comic Con, I hope you enjoyed it, remember, I'm doing all this alone, so if you, the editing isn't, up to par well i can only do so much but i'm i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy the shorts that are coming and uh i'll see you next time have a great day guys keep hunting keep collecting keep having fun and i'll see you in the next video